hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video and the first video of the CCMP series um, we are going to configure RIP and G and RIP and G is an extension of RIP developed for support of IPv6 so they actually just created a whole new protocol um, based off RIP so they can support IPv6 and here are some of the features that RIP NG or RIP Next Generation has. Um, just like RIP for IPv4, it uses hop count as metric. So it's still using hop count. Um, it sends updates every 30 seconds, which is bad, which is why um, nobody uses RIP anymore. And RIP NG messages uses the UTP port 521 and the multicast address of FF. 02 semicolon semicolon 9 okay and then it gives you uh, this is a good website I'm um, sorry CCNA even though RIP NG is not in the CCNA it's in the CCMP but we are going to go ahead and configure RIP NG so you guys can see how to configure it's really simple so as you can see right here I have a my topology with different networks um, router one two three four and five so we're gonna have to go ahead and configure those <clears throat> so this looks a little bit small probably for you guys let's see if I can does it let me make this bigger for you guys manage profiles edit current profile that sounds about right Can I make this any bigger? Hmm. I don't think it's gonna let me make this any bigger from here. Oh, here we go. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, here we go. That looks a lot better for you guys. Bigger too. So we, let's go to router one first. Config T, and then from here, we actually the first thing that you need to do is turn on IPv6, and the way you do this is by saying IPv6 unicast routing. If you do not run this first, it is not going to work at all. Okay, so first let's go to fast then and zero like zero, and what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy this. Oops, not duplicate. Let's delete that so let's go ahead and copy this go ahead and open this one back close tab okay config T interface faster than it is like zero IPv6 and from here let's go ahead and paste what I just copied um, for this side and we just need to name it one. It says incorrect, incorrect. IPv6 address. There we go. So we have an IPv6 address of this one assigned to router one, which is going to router three. Okay, let's do no shutdown. And now let's do the same on this side. Let's go to uh, to pass it in zero slash one, and the IP address for this side is going to be three that one two. Give it no shutdown, so the interface can come back up. Okay. Let's go ahead and exit, and let's go ahead and configure RIP and G. So IPv6 router RIP. And then you gotta do a rip ng. So this is how you configure rip ng. Okay. And then after that, um, what this does is it actually enables or activate rip ng. Then after that, what you need to do is you have to go to the interfaces where you want rip ng working. So you have to go IPv6 router 
rip and then rip and g mm. did i do this right so ipv6 okay you got to go to interface fast ethernet zero and then go ipv6 and from here you gotta go rip ipv6 rip and then rip ng and actually this this one right here rip ng needs to match this one over here so and it is case sensitive for the rip ng so if you put the p lowercase the i and the p lowercase make sure that you put the i and the p lowercase over here as well otherwise it won't work all right and then after that enable great now let's go ahead to fast internet zero slash one and do ipv6 rip and g enable as well let's go ahead and end it save it let's do show ip ipv6 route and we don't have any yet uh, that's because it is not configured on either router 3 or router 2 so let's go ahead to router 3 and do it here first oops I opened too many I guess close tab close tab so from router 3 this one right here let's go ahead and configure that so config config T um, IPv6 let's turn on IPv6 first let's go to interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero which is a one going to router one all right IPv6 address and let's go ahead and paste that address over here and this one is going to be two let's do a no shutdown let's go to interface fast Ethernet zero slash one which is the one going to router five and what we need to do here is go ahead and configure the other IP address which is 5.2 no shut down let's go to exit let's go to IPv6 router if I know how to spell router there we go router rip rip ng exit let's go to the interfaces where um, rip ng needs to be enabled so from here is IPv6 rip rip ng Remember it is case sensitive and it needs to match this one over here. Rip and G enable. Go ahead to fast it in a zero one and then rip and G enable. Okay, so that's good. Now I believe if we go to router one, we should have something. There we go. So we have now a um, we have learned a route which is this one over here and that is the one that is going to, on this side for router 3 so we have learned that one which is good which which means that it is actually working and also if we do a show IPv6 from router 3 um, route we should have learned the route going on this side which is this one over here, the cafe three. Okay, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and open router five. Config T, IPv6, unicast routing, interface, fast Ethernet zero slash one, IP address, or oh, actually IPv6 address. Never get confused like I always do. IPv6 address. This one has to be five. One. Now shut down. Exit. IPv6 router. Ah. Router rip. Rip. Ng. Exit. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash one. IPv6 rip. Rip. Ng. Enable exit <clears throat> so that's good now router 5 should know how to or should have learned the route to to this one 
and also the route to this one. Let's go ahead and verify that. And show IP v6 route. And there you go. Like I said before, I, router 5 should have learned three routes, which are two routes, which is this one and this one over here. All right. So that is working correctly. Now let's go ahead to router 2. And in router 2, let's go ahead and configure the same way <clears throat> I have configured the other ones. So config T, IPv6, unicast routing, interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, which is the one going to router 1, IPv6, address, copy and paste. So let's do 3, that 2, no shutdown. Now let's go ahead to fast ethernet 0 slash 0, which is the one going to router 4. And this one needs to be 4, 4 that 2. Now shut down, exit. Let's go ahead, IPv6 router. Ah, I keep spelling router wrong. Router rip, rip, and G. Let's go ahead back to interface by slash zero. IPv6 rip rip ng enable. Go ahead to zero slash one. Rip ng enable. Exit. Let's do n show IPv6 route. And we should have if it is working correctly, we should have two routes. This one over here and this one over here. And there it is, we have learned two routes. This one over here, the two one, and the five one, which is the one over here. All right, so it is working correctly. Now let's go ahead and open router four and, and configure the same way as the other ones. Config D, IPv6, unicast routing interface. Actually, if you do, let's just do, let's just turn it off. Let's see what happens when we do not, we do not say IPv6 unicast routing and we try to enter an IPv6 address. IPv6 address, let's see what happens when we try to do this. For one. Hmm. Looks like it's still working. Okay. And now shut down. Looks like it's up. Let's do it to show run. Yeah, I don't see the IPv6 running. So let's keep configuring. Um, let's go ahead to exit IPv6. Router rip rip ng exit into. Oops, here we go. Config T. Here's the error. Um, as you can tell, it, it is telling me that routing IPv6 router is not enabled. This is why you have to give it an IPv6 unicast routing, otherwise it won't work. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. IPv6 router rip, rip ng, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, IPv6 rip, rip ng, enable. And, and now, <coughs> On router four, I should have one. I should have learned one, two, three routes. Let's go ahead and verify that. Show IPv6 route. Here we go. We have learned the two routes, which is this one over here. The three one, which is this one over here, and number five, which is this one over here. And as you can see, that the AD it is still the same, it is 120, just the same as RIP version 1 and version 2 is still 120, the AD. On 4, 
I believe that's the number of hops that is taking one two three four to get there um, and that's about it so now what we could do let's see if we from router 4 I'm able to ping router 5 so let's go ahead and do a ping paste so this one is going to be one ping there we go so I'm able to ping from router 4 I'm able to ping router 5 all the way over there Let's see if I'm able to trace route. There we go. So I'm able to do also a trace route from router four to router five. And you can see that it's going to to the four first, which is this one right here. Then it's going to the three, this one over here. Then I feel that it's happening on the two, to that two, which is router three. And then after that, it's getting to the 5.1, which is this one. Okay, guys, so this is it for this network or this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I have not been doing a lot of videos because I recently um, had a kid, a baby boy. And that's why I, I have not been able to do a lot of videos. But hopefully, I'm, I should... I should be able to do a lot more videos, um, more on the weekends, maybe one or two on the weekdays, but you never know when you have a kid. Okay, guys, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, um, just go ahead and leave a comment on the description below. And if you wanna, if you wanna follow me and you have a Twitter account, just go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. And if you don't have a Twitter account, Go ahead and make one and then follow me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.